Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'll show you how to crochet three variations of the regular single crochet stitch, including the cross stitch, the waistcoat stitch, and the back bump stitch. For all of these variations, they are front facing techniques, so they work best in the round, or you'll need to begin a new yarn every row. For this first variation, the cross stitch, we need to understand the difference between a yarn over and a yarn under. To begin, chain one. Then we'll make a regular single crochet, but instead of a yarn over, we'll do a yarn under, and we'll pull the stitch nice and tall, then yarn over, and again. Yarn under, pull high, yarn over, you can see little X's starting to form. Continue this around. For the next round, just slip stitch. Chain one is normal. Then begin the yarn under single crochet. Lift your loop tall, then yarn over. And again, tall loop and finish. You can see the little X's forming nicely after several rounds. For the waistcoat stitch, we form little V's with this one. We'll start with a round of normal single crochet stitches, but try to lift each loop up nice and tall. Almost to the size of the other loop on the hook. The taller the loop, the more pronounced your V's will be. Then slip stitch and chain one. We'll do normal single crochet again. However, instead of under the top two loops, we'll pierce the V right in the middle. Draw up a tall loop and complete. Insert into the middle of the V. Tall loop and finish. You can see the V's forming nicely. This stitch almost looks knitted. However, it is thicker and stronger than traditional stock in it. And now our last one is the back bump stitch. It looks like braids or knitting done sideways. Start with the normal round of single crochet. We're going to insert our hook into the back loop of every stitch from the round below. Back loop. Regular crochet technique, however, made in the back loop. You can see how this pushes out the top loops from the previous round. Now for the last round, I like to go around just once with slip stitches instead of single crochet. It seems to make a nicer finish along the top. And that's it. That's how I make three variations of single crochet stitches. Thanks so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified of new videos from me each week. And if you liked the video you just watched, 
Be sure to check out my next video, which I think you'll like very much.